What's going on everyone? Welcome back. It's been a minute, but just got done with finals for my marketing degree. And now it's time to finally focus on the tournament season. We got a whole bunch of packages behind me and also scattered in the garage. Let's go through them together and get ready for the season. Let's go. Man, guys, it's definitely been a minute, and I apologize. Just been focusing on school, trying to get through finals, but now it's over. Now it's time to really focus on fishing. I have yet to catch a bass this year, or even go target a bass. So I am itching to get out, and I'm hoping that going through some of these packages behind me, getting ready for the season, is gonna help that a little bit. But we got less than two weeks before our first tournament of the year. We're going straight down to California, the Clear Lake, the big bass factory of the world, to go fish the native watercraft no limit big bass power what a way to kick off the season april at clear lake i have never fished there that time of year and my personal best largemouth is only 6.4 pounds so that is definitely the place to break it i'm stoked i'm excited we got a whole bunch of work to do before we get down there so a bunch of the upcoming videos it's going to be how i'm kind of preparing for those tournaments we're going to go through tackle some you know research that i'm going to be doing for that tournament i'm going to share that with you guys i know that's been highly requested but today we're just going to walk through some of the new things i'm adding but before we jump into these packages that are behind me these are mostly tackle related we got a couple larger things that's in the garage so i'm gonna give you guys some early teasers of what's to come and if you guys saw one of my last posts I am getting my trailer this weekend, this weekend. So today is Thursday on Sunday. I'm picking up my new trailer and one of these packages is for that. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick sneak peek of what's to come. All right, the first thing we got on the ground right here is a new Yakima Topwater box right there. Yakima Topwater, you guys know, I run that on the back of my truck right over there. So that one actually on my truck is the prototype one. I helped Yakima in the early stages come up with a couple designs for this. So I'm fortunate to be running that one for the last six years, five years, six years, something like that. But I finally got a new one in the box. This one will be going on my trailer. And my idea behind that is to have my rods for the tournament in this one. And that one is gonna be all my backup stuff. But right here, brand new. I recently just went up to Yakima. Their headquarters are pretty close to me, so I stopped by to pick this up. Here's a photo from me stopping by at their headquarters. So that is your first teaser on the new trailer. This will be added to it, something different than my DIY trailer last year. Then up here, we got another package and some of you may recognize that name, Decked. So this massive box right here is my new deck system. This is their newest model. This will be going in the bed of my Tundra. The reason for that is because I am tired of carrying bins everywhere I go. So this deck system, the drawer system that pulls out is gonna help me stay a little more organized on the road. And then I also got a mat that goes up top so that I can protect it. But my idea behind this is that I'm gonna have this installed and I'm gonna throw my mattress on top so that I can have a bed and obviously be organized everywhere I go. So I'm excited for this. This is something I've been wanting for many years. So later on, I'm gonna get this installed and then show you guys how I plan on organizing my gear for traveling to all these tournaments. But for the kayak, nothing has really changed on it. I do got a couple things that I'm supposed to add to this. I just haven't had time. Still standing on the Sperian Systems cart, but yeah, pretty much everything is the same. Nothing has changed whatsoever. Okay, now that that you guys are caught up with some of the things that I recently got. It's time to go through some of these things. We got a little bit mix of different things and you know what, we're just gonna do one at a time and walk you guys through what I got. So the first package is some kayak accessories that I have personally used for pretty much since the beginning. It's something that makes sure that I don't lose stuff while on the water. It might be a little sneak peek. And that is Robohawk. Robohawk, I've been a big fan of their products for a while. I use it on one second. My PFD. So attached to my PFD is a Robohog. This is the older version and this just connects to it. And right here, I connect my phone to this. So you have this little insert right here and you just clip it on so that you don't lose your phone on the water. So there we go. So it just clips onto your phone. So if you're fishing and you know, obviously we need to take pictures of our fish and all that. Man, I've heard too many people lose their phones. This thing stays attached to the PFD. If I drop my phone, falls out of my pocket, it's still attached. So important investment, it's not much to invest into one of these. And this is an accessory that definitely everybody needs. So I got a new one of those. They have a new version that actually has 
a little swivel. Let me see if I can pull this out real quick. So they have a little swivel right here that allows it to rotate. So one thing with the old version is that obviously you pull your phone out, this thing tends to twist and stuff and tangle up. So they got a new version. I talked to the guys at Robohawk and they sent me this one so that I can have the newer version. So big shout out to Robohawk, they sent these over to me. I got a couple other ones as well. And these ones are pretty much gonna be for my catch board. So obviously when it comes to kayak tournaments, your catch board is important. Last thing you want is to lose your catch board, it falls out, whatever it is. So I usually attach mine to my catch board and then I have another one that I can use for like a scale, pliers, whatever it is. So they sent over a couple of them. I'm a big fan of just plain colors. You guys probably already know that. So I just got an all black one right there. All right, next up, we got an envelope and a box right here. And this is from my friends over at Owner Hooks. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I am partnered up with Owner Hooks and I have been for, geez, five years. So I needed to restock on some hooks for the season and they sent me a whole bunch of stuff that I will need. And yeah, we got, I mean, whole bunch of stuff whole bunch of hooks in there you know from pro packs of the stingers the st36s uh let's see what else we got owner beast hooks so heading down the clear lake i needed some beast hooks before i go down there there's some 10 knots my favorite drop shot hooks for open water mosquito light you guys have probably seen that a whole bunch uh let's see i mean we got a whole bunch of stuff jungle flipping hooks gonna need those let's see yeah i mean just a whole bunch of stuff couple of new hats right there yeah i don't even know there's just a whole bunch of stuff um, let me lay this out on the table kind of walk you guys through everything that's in here so as you guys can see running a little bit low on a couple things so a lot of this is kind of filler stuff uh there's a couple things on back order but this is majority of the stuff right here so all-purpose soft bait hook. I like to run those on most of my Texas rigs. So I re-upped on the 5 aught and the 3 aught. Then we got all-purpose worm hooks right here. A couple of the J hooks. And then jungle flipping hooks and 4 aught. Usually I like to use a 4 aught. That's like my punching and all those things. Round types. We got 1 16th. So mid strolling. I'm going to be trying this for that as well. It's a new technique that I've been kind of working on. And then jungle wacky. So for my Senko stuff like that. This is a whole bunch of uh, spinner bait trailer hooks right there. I'm going to be trying those out here and there. Definitely more than I ever need. And just like some trouble hooks right here. We got STX-56s, ST-38s, sorry, STX-38s, and then we have ST-36s right here. So a bunch of different trouble hooks for different applications. Then we got Sniper Finesse Weedless. Those, I love those for like Nico rigging stuff. Mosquito Lights, Open Water. We got flashy swimmers for days. We got six odd, eight odd. Then we got our normal beast hooks, eight odd. We got some three quarter ounce right there, and then some ten knots, and then just some random hardware duo snaps and then we have the hyper wire split ring and in this envelope we just got a bunch of extra decals stickers stuff like that so appreciate the guys at owner for getting me all set up for the beginning of the year so in these boxes we got a couple things from shimano and g loomis let me open this up and walk you guys through what is in here nothing too crazy got a couple of their jerk baits right here zomverno this is a new one. I have not tried this one yet. Much smaller presentation compared to their World Minnow right there. So flash boost technology, as you can see, I've kind of shared this before, it has that little foil on the inside that reflects. So smaller version of that right there. I'm excited to try this. Hopefully this can be a killer at Clear Lake. We'll see, but a couple of those there. Uh, some restock on some lines. So here's one of them right here. Power Pro Super 8 Slick V2 in Moonshine. So for my spinning reel applications, this is all I use right here. 15 pound is what I use for everything. That Moonshine high visibility right there, you guys can see. I love the high visibility line for all my spinning reels because sometimes when those fish eat and you can't feel it, let's say you have a slack line, you can see a lot of times your line taken off. So this is the line I use and that Super 8 Slick V2 is super smooth through the guys and make a whole bunch of noise. That's what I got right there. And then just some apparel stuff, some hats and some hoodies as well. So we got some Shimano hoodies, 
G Luminous hoodies. That pretty much covers the bulk of that stuff right there. Then we got a couple rods, a couple rods that I've been needing to add to kind of my arsenal. Uh, these are some things that I already have, but I love the rods too much, so I had to double up. So let me open these boxes and walk you guys through what rods I'm adding to the arsenal. All right, we got four new rods that we're adding to the arsenal. The first one is a Shimano rod, and that is their SLX. So SLX 7.3 swim bait rod. This is great for your six inch, your round six inch soft swim baits or hard swim baits. So going down to Clear Lake, I'm gonna be throwing a lot of that. I have one already in a G Loomis IMX Pro. That's our 904 swim bait rod, but I wanted to add another one. When I'm down there, I'm gonna be chucking whining big swim baits as my plan is what I want to do so I want to have an extra one so I don't have to pre-tie so big old handle that shows that it is a swim bait rod this thing is good for one to four ounces so definitely get the job done this rod for about a hundred dollars worth it if you're looking to get a swim bait rod this is what I would recommend for the six inch size all right the next one this is probably my favorite rod and I do like the high-end stuff I'm able to run them so this is a G Loomis NRX plus 893 JWR Jigger Worm Rod. This is what I call my do everything rod. I can throw so many things on this Texas rig. I can throw like a six inch Sanko. I can throw a chatterbait on this, a spinner bait. I can throw the Z-Man swimmers on it on a 3 8 ounce jig head, whatever it is. This is my do everything. I love this rod. I've used to have several of these in the regular NRXs and I've only had one in the new NRX Plus over the years. So I wanted to add another one. This this is my favorite 7.5 this thing is my favorite rod next one just a step up from that another nrx plus from g loomis this is the 894 so this is a heavy the other one the 893 was a medium heavy this one is just mainly for those heavier stuff so heavier texas rigs jigs i like to throw a lot of football heads on columbia river they're like half to three quarter ounce big worm you know big old 12 inch worm stuff like that that's what this is for and yeah man i have one of these wanted to add an extra one just so i can have another high-end rod in the heavy series okay the last rod we have another nrx plus this one is a 9w2 sjr spin and jig rod this is one that i had in the old nrx rod the 902 it was called the jig and worm rod before but this one's a 7.6 and I believe it's a medium action. Yep, it's a medium action. So this one, Nico rigging, shaky heads. I like a longer spinning rod. Pretty much, as you guys can see, pretty much a lot of my rods are like longer rods. The main reason for that is because you can cast a lot farther. A lot of times you get a little bit more give in the rod. And the nice thing about that is, especially when we're in kayaks, longer rod, when you set the hook, it picks up more line. So for me, I don't have to reel down as much to set the hook. And that's the reason why I like these longer rods. But this is what that rod is for to do some of those other techniques. Also, one thing I'm gonna be trying out more this year is mid strolling, hover strolling, those type of things, you know, the whole front facing sonar phase that's going on. Something that I played around a little bit before, but I definitely want to dial it in, I think this rod will be perfect for that. All right, now we got a big old package right here. As you can see, Z-Man. Got a restock and a whole bunch of Z-Man plastics for the year, and I'm excited. There's some new stuff, some stuff from iCast that got released last year that I have not had a chance to get my hands on, and yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Let's get into it. But yeah, this is uh, pretty full. We got pretty much the whole box filled of stuff. Up top, hoodie from Z-Man. Uh, yeah, little sneak peek right there. Whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we got a whole bunch of random stuff. What do we got? Got some gremlins in there. We got some, got the new rattlesnaker. So this has little rattles that you can add to your plastics. So that's a new one that got released by Z-Man. Uh, we got some extra ones as well. So reload just in case it run out. In here, man, bunch of gremlins, like I said. So a whole bunch of stuff. We got what else we got in here? Some billy goats. I'm gonna be using this probably the bed fish, assuming that they're on beds down in California. We got new scented jerk shads. Uh, I've had a couple of these smaller ones, but I haven't gotten the new ones. And uh, I'm excited to try this out again. This is gonna be trying out some new techniques that hover strolling mid strolling All right there 3.5 inch sanded jerk shads and gussie's glimmer blue gussie won the classic 
this is what he created pretty much after that is that bay right there we got a whole bunch of other ones some other colors so that's that then we got a whole mix of chatterbait elite evos the new ones that got released we got three eighths ounce half ounce a bunch of different ones and then we got a bunch of smh worms purple rain i love that color if you guys like that color margarita mutilator from robo worm this has been my alternative to that and it lasts a long time because it's elastic got some new chatter spikes in this package and a whole bunch more chatterbait elite evos more chatter spikes right there a bunch of different colors hot snakes and we also have bad shad again more chatter spikes in here more chatter spikes again and then some of these trd spins right there so these are you kind of just embed them into your plastic and they have little spinners kind of create your own underspin we got some molotrons a bunch of molotrons in here this is one that i'm excited to try out i did not get these in the first initial run and now we got them right here so which one is this? So the six inch rate of fall eight. So they have moderate sink and slow sink. They, yeah, a couple different sizes right there. Four and a half and a six inch and moss back. That was a color that I liked. I felt like that one would do really well when it comes to targeting large mouth. So we got those. Another pack and this one has, looks like a bunch of cross eyes flipping jigs right there. And then some more chatter spikes and uh, trick shots. Got some more trick shots in there and some larger scented jerk shads. For those have been following along, remember the championship last year caught a 20 and a half inch smallmouth, and that was what I caught it on. The swimmers love this thing. Ooh, and then this one, the gobius right there. So hot snakes and then green pumpkin goby. You can't tell me that's not gonna catch a smallmouth. So three inch, three eight ounce. Excited for those, and then yeah some larger swimmers in there as well. Some other stuff I'm gonna try out. And then in here, a whole bunch of terminal stuff. So there's a bunch of things that I have to use when it comes to last tech. So like, you know, even though I'm part of owner, some of the stuff like screw locks, can't use them on a last tech. You can, but definitely is harder. So uh, a lot of heavier jig heads for the Neds. Finesse eyes, again, just some other jig heads that I'll be trying out. And then we got the big mag shrooms right there for giant TRD. As you can see, it's just a whole pile of stuff, a whole bunch of it right there. And yeah, we're gonna have to get this stuff all organized. But yeah, those are some of the new tackle rods and I guess other gear that I'm gonna be utilizing this year. Like I said, I wanted to try a lot more things out. So I got a couple different things that, you know, I'm just trying to add to my arsenal. You know, when it comes to fishing, it's all about learning different things. You gotta evolve. So a lot of this stuff is gonna be tailored to that. But yeah, guys, this is just a little insight of some of the new things that's coming. And this is a little sneak peek of kind of like the processes that I go through to get in preparation for the season making sure that my stuff is restocked and of course try out some new products as well now that i have a little bit more time on my hands i'm excited to say that the content is coming back we're gonna have a bunch of cool things coming up and like i said before we gotta pick up our new kayak trailer here shortly as always i appreciate you guys for watching i'll catch you on the next one peace